This month in history, September. Hey Crash, today we're going to be doing the ninth episode of our mini-series This Month in History, therefore focusing on the month of September. September is a month of sadness. The dark clouds form around my skull like handcuffs around a criminal's wrists. The overwhelming tempest eroding the very part of me which is capable of seeing light and feeling hope. I'm numb and cold and I'm lost. Where does one go when he has nowhere left to turn? Uh, are you okay, buddy? Yeah, of course, culture. Why wouldn't I be? <sighs> That's a relief. Uh, for a second there, I, I thought that, uh... The downpour stings my skin and takes what's left of my weary mind, laying me to rest for the final time. Alright, I think after this episode we'll have to take you to a psychiatrist or something. The things you're saying aren't normal. When have I ever said anything normal? Yeah, fair point. Are you okay to continue the episode? Yeah, no problem. As the episode goes on, you'll learn exactly what's put me in this low-spirited state. All right, well, do your thing, Crash. September 1st! In 1939, Hitler orders extermination of the mentally ill. In 2015, Pope Francis tells priests to pardon women who have had an abortion, in a letter released by the Vatican. September 2nd! In 1944, Holocaust diarist Anne Frank is sent to Auschwitz concentration camp. In 1987, Donald Trump takes out a full-page New York Times ad, lambasting Japan. September 3rd! In 1967, Sweden begins driving on the right-hand side of the road. In 2013, Microsoft purchases Nokia for $7.2 billion. September 4th! <sighs> in 1998, Google is formally incorporated by Larry Page and Sergey Brin, two students at Stanford University. In 1997, the Howard Stern radio show premieres in Louisville, Kentucky. September 5th! In 1698, Russian Tsar Peter the Great imposes a tax on beards. That bastard! In 1991, Nelson Mandela is chosen as the president of African National Congress. September 6th! In 1994, actor Jackson Pinckney is awarded 487,000 US dollars for being partially blinded by Jean-Claude Van Damme during the filming of Cyborg. In 2012, Barack Obama accepts the Democratic nomination for US President. Hey there everybody, it's me, Bojack Horseman, famous star from the 90s sitcom Horsin' Around. Just wanted to tell you all it's September 7th! Okay, I'll never do that again. I love Bojack Horseman. In 1996, rapper Tupac Shakur was shot multiple times in a drive-by shooting in Las Vegas, dying six days later. <laughs> Oh, I see why you're acting so weird. Your idol passed away in September. He's not a mere fucking idol to me, you asshole! Tupac is nothing short of a living god! A living god? <laughs> Damn you, P. Diddy! First you take Tupac, then Biggie! In 2006, Sasha Baron Cohen's mockumentary Borat, Cultural Learnings of America for Make Benefit Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan, premieres at the Toronto Film Festival. September <laughs> In 1974, US President Gerald Ford pardons the former President Richard Nixon of all federal crimes. In 1986, The Oprah Winfrey Show is first broadcast nationally. Everybody, look underneath your seats! I have given you all a copy of my brand new novel! You get a copy! You get a copy! And you get a copy! September 9th! In 1971, John Lennon releases his Imagine album. In 2015, Queen Elizabeth II becomes Great Britain's longest reigning monarch at 63 years and 7 months, beating the previous record set by her great-great-grandmother, Queen Victoria. September 10th! In 1991, grunge rock band Nirvana releases their single, Smells Like Teen Spirit. In 1999, Fight Club, directed by David Fincher and starring Edward Norton and Brad Pitt, premieres at the Venice Film Festival. September 11th! In 1962, drummer Ringo Starr replaces Pete Best of the Beatles. In 2001, two passenger planes hijacked by terrorists crash into New York's World Trade Towers, causing the collapse of both and deaths of 2,752 people. September 12th, I've gotten over it now. In 1995, NXS's Michael Hutchins pleads guilty to punching a photographer. 
In 2012, Apple unveils its iPhone 5 and iOS 6. September 13th! In 1981, creator and producer of Saturday Night Live, Lorne Michaels, weds model Susan Forrestal. In 1989, Les Miserables opens at Fisher Theatre in Detroit. September 14th. Yeah, that's right, I'm a cowboy now. In 1901, Theodore Roosevelt is sworn in as the youngest man to serve as US president, after William McKinley finally dies after an anarchist shoots him in Buffalo. In 2015, 14-year-old Texan Ahmed Mohammed is arrested at school when his homemade clock is assumed to be a bomb. Mark Zuckerberg and US President Barack Obama send supportive tweets. September 15th! In 1928, Scottish bacteriologist Alexander Fleming discovers penicillin while studying influenza. In 1998, Google.com is registered as a domain name. All right, all right, can we get on with the segment that people actually care about now? Let's take a look at some notable people who were born during the month of September! Can I get a holla? Vine star Cameron Dallas, never heard of him. Actor Adam Sandler, I really liked Happy Gilmore when I was a kid. Singer Nick Jonas, rapper Lil Wayne. All of those morons are lame as hell anyway. Let's move on! I'm relieved to see you're not so gloomy anymore. I've had time to think it all over and come to terms with... ...things. I just wasn't prepared to be reminded of such a tragedy so soon. So now let's take a look at some notable people who passed away during the month of September! Lord of the Rings author J.R.R. Tolkien. Rock guitarist Jimi Hendrix. Did you know there's actually a manga about a, like, music teacher who has the spirit of Jimi Hendrix inhabiting their body? Go check it out. Children's author Dr. Seuss. Calculatus Eliminatus is still the best fucking method to find anything to this day. And... And... <laughs> Come on, Crash. What's the last name on the list, buddy? Fuck my life, culture! Tupac didn't deserve to die! And neither did Biggie Smalls! And you know what's worse? What's that? We had two gods taken from us in September! Tupac and my sexy ass soulmate, the glorious Mr. Gandhi! Ugh, God, when will this unfunny joke end? NEVER TELL GANDHI'S DEATH A JOKE! <laughs> um. September 16th! In 1941, Adolf Hitler orders that for every dead German, 100 Yugoslavs should be killed. In 1983, Arnold Schwarzenegger becomes a US citizen. September 17th! In 1683, Dutch scientist Antoine von Leeuwenhoek is the first to report the existence of bacteria. In 1900, the Commonwealth of Australia is proclaimed. September 18th! In 1971, Momofuku Ando markets the first cup noodle, packaging it in a waterproof polystyrene container. In 1997, Ted Turner gives $1 billion to the United Nations, creating the public charity, the United Nations Foundation. September 19th! In 1975, Faulty Towers starring John Cleese Prunella Scales and Andrew Sachs premieres on BBC Two in the UK. Ah, a beautiful moment for television history. In 2011, Ashton Kutcher debuts on Two and a Half Men, replacing Charlie Sheen. Ah, a fucking shit moment for television history. September 20th! In 1976, Playboy releases Jimmy Carter's interview that he lusts for women. In 2005, model Kate Moss is dropped by clothing chain H&M after allegations of drug taking. Wait a second, what were we doing again? Oh yeah, September 21st! In 1995, the Hindu milk miracle occurs, in which statues of the Hindu god Ganesh began drinking milk when spoonfuls were placed near their mouths. In 2016, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg and his wife Priscilla Chan pledged $3 billion to medical research to cure, prevent, or manage all diseases by the end of the century. September 22nd! In 1980, John Lennon and Yoko Ono sign a recording contract with Geffen Records. 
In 1985, St. Louis Cardinals set an unusual baseball streak record by winning a 9 of 10 games, each pitched by a different man. S -s September 23rd. In 1889, the Nintendo Kopai, or Nintendo Company, is founded by Fusajiro Yamauchi to produce and market the playing card game Hanafuda. In 2003, crime drama NCIS premieres on CBS. September 24th! In 2012, books by Japanese authors or about Japan are suspended by Chinese bookstores. In 1968, 60 Minutes, an American news magazine television program, debuts on the CBS. September 25th! In 1906, Leonardo Torres Cuervero successfully demonstrates the invention of the Telekino, guiding a boat from the shore in what is considered the birth of the remote control. In 1977, about 4,200 people take part in the first running of the Chicago Marathon. Ship Timber 26! In 1960, the first televised debate takes place between presidential candidates Richard M. Nixon and John F. Kennedy. You know, I've never understood why people watch those stupid debates. They just seem like a pussy, snobby alternative to watching the UFC. In 1969, Abbey Road, the last recorded album by the Beatles, is released. September 27th! In 1968, the stage musical Hair opens at the Shaftesbury Theatre in London, where it played 1,998 performances until its closure was forced by the roof collapsing in July 1973. In 1908, the first production of the Ford Model T automobile is built at the Piquet plant in Detroit, Michigan. September 28th. In 1892, the first night game for American football takes place in a contest between Wyoming Seminary and the Mansfield State Normal. In 1941, CBS makes the first color televisions available for sale to the general public, but the product is discontinued less than a month later. September 29th! In 1951, the first live sporting event is seen coast to coast in the United States. A college football game between Duke and the University of Pittsburgh is televised on NBC. In 1916, American oil tycoon John D. Rockefeller becomes the world's first billionaire. September 30th, 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 30th. In 1882, Thomas Edison's first commercial hydroelectric power plant later known as the Appleston Edison Light Company, begins operation on the Fox River in Appleton, Wisconsin. In 2005, the controversial drawings of Muhammad are printed in the Danish newspaper Jylland Posten. September! baby winter! Uh, crash? There's no such date as September 31st. God damn it, man. Could this day get any worse? Well, I hope you all enjoy this installment of This Month in History. Hopefully, you'll be leaving us with a new piece of knowledge. If any of our viewers actually have any empathy, they'll be leaving this video heartbroken. This shit was soul-shattering. If anyone here is emotionally questionable, buddy, it's you. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've all had a wonderful day, and we'll see you in a brand new video next week.